once again, different ways to go about it. Um, we'll see. I'll simply delete it. Um, now, the problem here is, of course, that if I do this, let's see that we got this edge around. It's not that great. Maybe, oops, maybe I should uh, contract that to pixels and invert the selection and delete. Oops. <coughs> right. Layer and delete. Not that bad. There's some cleanup to do. But what if. Let's see. I'm just going to use the erase tool actually. This is where it could be nice to have a tablet pen because you have thickness based on how uh, hard you press the pen. There are different ways to go about this also, but um, I mean, I could maybe select I could select the, the white areas and then I could exclude only the, or include only the edge around here with a selection as well but I mean many ways to, to go about this but what I wanted to show you was how you can create bleed on this car more accurately without using and you can't see bitmap application or such. So let's say that that is cool. And what you want to do now is you want to extend this uh, color, right? So you want to push that color upwards because maybe you will have um, some selection going on here. And then you want. In 3D applications, you often want to extend this color upwards. And what I found was what you could do is you could uh, clone this guy, and you know, you got minimum pixel and maximum pixel and so on, but it doesn't really work the way we want it, the way we want it to. So, what I found was that I could use a Gaussian blur. And let's say three pixels. And what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to clone it a lot of times. And I bet you already can see what's going on. Yes, we are kind of go uh, ex extruding that uh, or extending that edge. Alright, so now I can put this beneath. Alright, and you can see that's original, and this is our extended edge. Pretty cool. If you want it to be more accurate, then you could uh, blur it less. Here again, I mean, this is not good because I haven't cleaned that up. But if you want, want it to be more accurate, then you can blur it less. So instead of right now where the radius was 3 pixels, you could try 1 pixel or 2. But this is quite nice. Um, so I thought I just could share that. that uh, that is possible. Yeah. Just add on any background, really. So, yeah, quite nice.